Do you see those challenges as a problem or opportunities? How do you see it? Hello! Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope everyone is doing absolutely fantastic and amazing. And how is your weather treating you over there? I am doing great as well and my weather has been extremely hot very hard but we can complain we are indeed grateful to god for the gift of life that he has given each and every one of us so we can't complain and what do i have for you today i have a very interesting topic for you today and without further ado let's dive right into the topic of today what is our topic for today our topic for today is see challenges as stepping stones to success. Isn't that interesting? This particular topic is one of the favorite topics I love to talk about. I can talk about this topic a million times over and over and over and over again because I love it. And today I am going to share with you why I love this particular topic so much and why it's such an interesting topic to talk about at one point or the other in our individual lives we've all been faced with one challenge or the other but the truth here is this as we journey through life challenges will always be there it will be there it will always be there and now how we see those challenges or undo those challenges is what makes the big difference challenges happen or come when you least expect it and every moment you encounter such it is a test of your own faith and courage. It has come to teach you something. And it's of course a beginning of a new shift for you. A shift physically, a shift spiritually, a shift mentally. In all spheres, it could be emotionally, it could be business related, career related, and otherwise a shift has come. And for you to experience that shift, you must be ready for a change. Because the truth is, after every challenge, you are a different person. You are a different person entirely. As we go ahead, we'll shed more light on this. When you start living your life, or when you have decided to start living your life, now there is a difference between living a life and living your own life. There is a difference there. The moment you have decided to start living your own life there will always be obstacles now those obstacles are not challenges there is a great difference between obstacles and challenges it looks similar but there's a slight difference between the two those obstacles only becomes challenges when you allow it when you pamper it when you permit it that is when those obstacles becomes challenges for you every challenge has a solution only if you can look more deeper into those challenges and beyond those challenges every challenges have a solution happiness is not the absence of problems the ability to see those problems face those problems and conquer those problems is happiness that's exactly where happiness lies that is happiness see it face it conquer it every challenge that you encounter in life is like a rocky road and you have the choice to decide whether to go forward ahead with a rocky road or go backward because you're scared. Now, look at what the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 says. It says that we are oppressed on every side, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. That is the word. <laughs> hallelujah that is the living word and the word is what life that is the word you live by it you walk by it you believe in it that's all every challenges that you encounter in life makes you more stronger courageous confident wiser smarter and up here and that is the more reason why you should see challenges as great opportunities because challenges are stepping stones to your success it helps you to evolve into a new you a newer version of yourself that you have never seen before anytime you encounter any challenge the power of your thoughts 
plays a pivotal role in this. Oh yes, it does. It is very important for you to keep your thoughts positive at all times. Your positive thoughts will help you to see things from the brighter side. It will help you to see the brighter side of those challenges that you are facing. Give yourself a chance to succeed by having a positive mindset. Now, the difference here is that you are taking the complete charge of that situation, of that challenges, and not allowing those challenges to control your thoughts or you as a person. That is the difference. Now, let me share these three tips with you. I probably might have talked about it before now, but I'll still go over it again. And number one, anytime you are faced with any challenge whatsoever, there is something it has come to teach you. There's something to learn and you must learn. You must learn because if you do not learn, it will keep coming back. There is a lesson for you to learn from it and you must learn. Tip number two, every challenge is a blessing in disguise. Only if you see beyond those challenges, there is always something greater beyond those challenges. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise. Tip number three, never ever dwell on challenges. Don't. Yes, there is a challenge. There is one. That's okay. Then what next? Get ready to tackle the issue. The way you handle this will determine what you get from it. The way you handle those challenges will determine what you get from it. And remember, you can only go as far as you see. You can only go as far as you push. And of course, as Christians, you can only go as far as you fight on your knees. So the key is to tackle those challenges not dwelling on them, not breaking down, not wallowing in self-pity. Tackle them. Challenges are breakthroughs for an innovation, a stepping stone to success. You have to leverage on those challenges to build a better version of you. Anytime you see a challenge as a problem, you are making it famous. And every day you dwell on those problems, you are actually watering it and giving it life. Do not magnify the problems. Do not magnify those challenges. That is why it is very important for each and every one of us to cultivate the habit of having a quiet time. You need some time alone. That time is the time for you to think, to pray, to recharge, to refuel, to recalibrate. It is from that place of quietness that you gain more clarity, more understanding, more knowledge on situations. And in that same space of quietness, you can easily see things, see challenges when it's coming. And you already know the solution because you're already alert. But when you are always surrounded by noise, you can easily get distracted. And there is no how you can see things or think well. And if you cannot see things and think well, you can't grow. And finally for today, do not run away from challenges. The moment you start running away from challenges, you are literally feeding it. And when you feed it, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And what happens? It is going to get so big that you can't even control again. And now the challenges controls you because you've given it the power. You've made it famous. Stop feeding it. Stop making it famous. Stop giving it life. Okay, what an interesting topic. I love it. I love this topic so much. All right, and we all have come to the end of today's topic on Open Inspires. And if you find this topic interesting in any way, please leave a comment below and click the like button. And if you need to my channel, once again, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. And until then, challenges are stepping stones to success. But your own perspectives about those challenges will ultimately determine the results that you get.